Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For those of you that are new here, my name is Victoria, and for those who are returning, welcome back. Um, so as you see by the title, it is going to be a full day of eating. Um, but I am going to discuss a little bit more on that lovely topic and what my full day of eating is going to include. And it is going to include carbs. Bum, bum, bum. I know. Shocker, right? So, I've posted before um, that I am somebody who suffers from binging. It is something that um, I'm trying to get in control of and that I will probably always... Um, try to be getting in the control of um it as of late it hasn't honestly been bad like i haven't literally binged in a hot minute but um i as much as it sucks to say i'm no longer on keto i am a huge advocate for it i love keto and it will always have a place in my heart it is an amazing way of eating for a lot of people myself included I was one of them after the birth of my youngest Cameron I went keto and it helped me um how much weight did it lose a lot I honestly don't remember specifically um I got down in my pre-pregnancy weight pretty fast like I lost all that within I want to say about a week or two so um it helped me uh lose about 20 pounds so it was it was a great kick start and then um I stopped keto and went back to just living my life and then I like I said I wanted to start keto back up and make it a part of my life and uh, I just found myself binging too much on it and like I said in a previous video I do love keto you can make anything keto to, in today's world which is amazing and a lot of people are probably like well then why are you binging why are you doing this I honestly I can't answer that for you if I knew I would but I don't um, I definitely want to start seeing a therapist to just talk about my um issues and hopefully they can help me work through them and just aid me in the right direction and just have somebody who isn't like a family or a friend listening who is a professional in their field of study help me and what i'm going through so yeah um if you want to try keto go for it i am all for it like i said it is amazing it's just at this point in my life and what I've been going through it is not something that will be sustainable for me and that is what I want I need something that is sustainable um I used to do macros uh but I'm not gonna lie just <sighs> I don't know I, I it's hard to explain I just didn't really care for counting macros anymore so a woman that I worked with um lost how much did she lose 80 or 90 pounds on Weight Watchers and she was like you know it's something that definitely consider so I was like you know hearing like somebody lose that much weight on Weight Watchers is absolutely astonishing because I have a friend who's uh who was on it and she lost 20 pounds and she's currently doing it again um so I was like you know maybe I should do it and so that's exactly what I did. I started Weight Watchers. Um, I've been on it. This is I'm going on week three. I want to. Oh, memento, por favor. I will tell you exactly how many weeks I've been on it. Um. So I started on the nineteenth. No, what am I talking about? <laughs> I started on the 2nd of August. So I haven't um, been on it that long. And I'm down uh, 5.6 pounds. So it makes me very happy so far. Um, I don't, we'll say I don't feel deprived on this. I can eat whatever I want and I just, it 
deducts it for my points. I'm not worrying about calories or carbs and some people might be like, eh, it's horrible, don't do that, yada, yada, yada. But I mean, this is just what I wanna do. I'm trying it out, it's only for three months. And if at the end of the three months I don't like it, I'm not committed to keep going with it. Um, but I just wanted to try it out and see where it aids me. Another um, woman I follow is doing it and she's lost a significant amount of weight and she looks awesome. So it's just something to try. I'm trying to just do me and figure out what best works for me. Um, I, I don't know. Long story short, I quit keto and I'm doing Weight Watchers. It is what it is. But um, anyways, uh, that is my life story for now. Um, so yeah, let's... And this lovely intro, let's hop right on into my full day of eating. Don't forget to like, subscribe, questions, comments, leave them down below, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye. Hello, everybody, and good morning. So in today's video, I thought I would do... Oh, that's bad now. Darn it. Got potatoes in the fridge after I cut them to, like, weigh them out. Waste of potatoes. Can you please turn that down? Please. Like that. A little more. It's quite loud. A little more. There. Hey, Mom. What's up? All my games that actually don't have bosses and Yeah, I like them not having <laughs> But you games don't have bosses. Okay, because you have it on silent, which is like me. Okay, so anyways. So, <laughs> so I thought I would take you guys through a full day of eating. Um, as you saw in my intro, things have changed up a little bit. And <laughs> just for me. I don't, yeah, anyways. So before I um, start... Um, my breakfast, which I've been typically eating on the usual. I'm going to get started on um, dinner tonight. Whoa. And what I <laughs> cooking for dinner. I feel like I have to yell at you guys because my child just wants to laugh so loud. Mom. Yes. But I can't do this. Then I want to pick a. Then I want the uh the end of the I want the sandwich. It's only 9:27 in the morning. Yeah. <gasps> I want a sandwich. Why don't you finish the other half of your pop tart? No, almost, almost, almost. Almost. Okay. So dinner tonight is gonna to be some form of chicken. I don't know exactly what kind, but. Okay, so let's get started on dinner. Don't mind my dirty fridge if you see it in the video. I have to do my dishes. Okay, so first things first is I'm going to chop up some chicken into small little pieces. You can use any type of chicken that you would like. I do chicken breast because, you know, I just feel more bang for your buck. I always trim off the edges, like the rib piece, and feed it to my dog. No. Okay, so now that I have my chicken all cut up in nice little pieces, what I like to do, I had a friend recommend this to me, um, some vinegar, any kind of vinegar you want, you can add it. I prefer white. So that way, it just helps to tenderize and clean your chicken a little bit. I do just a substantial amount. It's probably around a fourth of a cup of vinegar, a fourth to a half. You might think I'm crazy. Don't worry, your chicken will not taste like vinegar. Sorry, Ace. And then, 
I'm going to add some Worcestershire sauce. And this is all gonna soak into your chicken, which is going to be amazing. I'm gonna do some pepper. Salt. garlic powder. Onion powder. Some oregano. Some basil. And to finish it off, I top it with some water. And then all you do is stir it around, make sure everything, I really don't know. Stir, make sure all your, it just smells so good, not even lying. And you're probably thinking that I'm a crazy person, but I let this sit for the rest of the day. So that way it just tenderizes your chicken, it cleans it at the same time, it's just so good. So I cover this, I let it sit, and then I will show you what we'll be making with this for dinner. Good job. Okay, so if you watched my morning routine, you saw like me making my breakfast, and um, my typical morning breakfasts include um, browns, two eggs, and two pieces of turkey bacon. You can do any bacon of your choice, but it'll change your points depending on it. So all I do is I add about one and a half cups of hash browns, and then I um, do like over easy, two over easy eggs, and then I just pop my turkey in the microwave because it makes it really crispy. I try to get my hash browns as crispy as I can, but you know, it doesn't seem to work out that way. But this is my meal. I'll put the points on the screen of what it will be and I will show you the finished product. Well, four, including the rice cake that I use. So all I do is I take a Parmesan, white cheddar, um, Parmesan, white cheddar rice cake. I put a little bit of Dijon mustard on it, swirl it around a little bit, top with some fat-free cheese, and then some of the turkey breast. And this is only three points for this whole meal. Okay, so I'm going to be having a snack now. So as my snack, I'm just gonna have a protein smoothie. So I'm gonna do one scoop of the protein Dolce de Leche. This is Bomer Nutrition. Their brand is absolutely amazing. And their flavors are bomb.com. Like, no flavor is wrong. Um, half a cup of unsweetened almond milk. One uh, um, package of the Dan and Fit and Light Vanilla Greek yogurt. And then one full banana. And I started with my <laughs> Hashtag mom life. Okay, so for dinner tonight, I just coated some chicken in the shake and bake. This was the leftover bits and pieces, so it's not as pretty as these bad boys. All I did was a, I mixed a package of the extra crispy with the Parmesan crusted, and I have our the um, oven preheating to 425 degrees. I'm gonna put them in until they're nice golden brown, 
and then eat these bad boys right on up. And I'll put, I'll show dinner of what I plan on eating with it, and then the points for the whole meal. Okay, so for dinner, I made a copycat um, KFC bowl. The girl who I found this from is like her recipes are awesome. Um, so I will link her channel and video down below of where I got this. And you can see all the lovely ingredients that she uses as well. So it's just the chicken covered in shake and bake, some corn, um, some potatoes, some fat free shredded cheese, and then a quarter cup of gravy. So that is my dinner. I will post the points on the screen and I'm about to have a chow down. Alright, so to finish my meals for the day, I have two chocolate rice cakes with one tablespoon of peanut butter on top. Yum. <laughs>